Hi, this is Michelle Cromer. This is your feng shui question and tip of the week. And it comes from Mary C. And she says, hello, Michelle, I'm moving into a new home and we'll be buying some new furniture. What kind of decor should I choose? Thank you, love your videos. First of all, congratulations, Mary, on the new house. Appreciate the compliment. This is a question I get quite a bit. I'm going to assume that you have all of the elements present. You have a balanced room. Like for example, you're not gonna put black lacquer representing water on a blue rug representing water with a mirror representing water. That's a lot of water. So make sure you have the five elements balanced in the room. But I think most importantly that you choose objects in your home that have meaning to you and that evoke a certain emotion or a vibration. For example, y'all are standing in my living room. Every single piece in this room has a memory. Everything from the cushions I got in India, everything has a memory or a meaning. Over my fireplace, I'm balancing the fire element with the water element with a mirror. I got this particular frame from a home in India. It was a window, I made it into a mirror. This table is from a monastery. It was a door I made into a table, evoking that reverence. I always have fresh flowers, evoking that wonderful love and rose energy. And even the books that I've chosen, like for example, the top book is from Arnie Spinson, a wonderful photographer, a meaningful photographer doing meaningful work and worked with me in my foundation in Wadis for pink crosses. I have this armoire, these were doors from a home in India that was being demolished that I saved and made into an armoire. I have a Buddha from Tibet evoking compassion. And I have um, an heirloom from Ireland, from my family. And I, in my glasswork, I have Chihuly, but I also have these two pieces from Hawaii, water and fire, balancing those elements. So Mary, just have something that's really meaningful. I always honor my ancestors in this space. And so I have James O'Brice who saw his family being murdered in Ireland when he was 12 years old, stowed away on a boat, landed in New Orleans, got off and became a, a prominent judge there. So I'm really reverent and have his picture. That's it. So if y'all have any questions, please email me at michelle at michellecromer.com. Or if you want your power color, you can go to my website and give me your birthday, michellecromer.com. Thanks.